new Gen 5, you dissing on the guys and you ain't safe. And if I see you in them niggas' pictures, you a eighth. I'm trying to get some gas, shit they last, homie, we shake. Shit, I was 17, fucking the 40, it was rape. Shit, once it's up. Alright, YouTube. It's good with y'all. We back in another video. We about to get into this video real quick. This defensive lineman video. I don't think I've seen this one. We're going to get right into this video. We ain't going to waste no time. Let's do it. He's played in those rivalry games. It was the Broncos against Brady and them. But That's right. Watch how quick he is right here. Goes against Brady and them. That's but right. Watch how quick he is right here. Just using quickness, power to get in there, blindsiding. Stand here. Just using quickness, power to get in there, blindsiding. Standing around blocking no one. But look, he's working the center here. Myers, and then he thinks he's gonna pick the siding. Standing around blocking no one, but look, he's working the center here. Toss the shot on my man. That's hard. That's hard. That right there, that's hard. Me personally, I wouldn't go for that, but that's just me though. I don't know about y'all, but I'm not going for that. Myers, and then he thinks he's gonna pass him off, and no one's there, and he just relent. Oh my gosh, this <laughs> still pancaking him. <laughs> yeah, that, that's effort. Yo, never give up on the play. That's to the whistle blow right there. That's good work. Let's to Rogers. That's exactly what that is. Look at the leverage he gets right up under Greg Little, pushes him. Right. That's exactly what that is. Look at the leverage he gets right up under Greg Little, pushes him right back into Teddy Bridgewater's left. And Barry comes in at right tackle, and the great Chris Jones, who's having a great season. Now he's in at right tackle, and the great. I ain't gonna lie. If the NFL players, they running in kind of high, bro. Like, they exploding off the ball really fucking high. Pushes him right back into Teddy Bridgewater's left. And Barry comes in at. Look at this. He's so high, bro. I would have been at his chest. My face mask would have been looking directly into his chest. I would have been moving around trying to get this nigga off me. For all my players out there, it don't matter what, where you at, bro. Never, 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 never explode off the ball high level, bro. You want to be low. Like right about here. Stay low. He can't get his hands on you. That's easy. That right tackle and the great Chris Jones, who's having a great season. Now here he is against a rookie on the left side and just pushes him right back into the backfield and almost. They double Khalil Mack on the outside. They have Dolchich. He's out there. He's helping Calvin and he's getting a lot more wreck outside. They have Dolchich. He's out there. He's helping Calvin and he's getting a lot more on the outside. They have Dolchich. Come on, Ray got to pick him as up. He's out there. He's helping. What? Calvin and he's getting a lot more recognition. You're going to see him here playing his traditional three technique. He just plays behind that guard. What's hard about you're going to see him here playing his traditional three technique. He just plays behind that guard. What's hard about that is see him here playing his traditional three technique. Look at that. He's just looking at him. This is a good hand, too. Good hand movement. I'm not gonna lie, he's he's kind of low. He's kind of low. He's lower. You feel me? This nigga, this nigga right here ain't even get to shoot off the ball, bro. He's <laughs> he about to kick step. Look at him. Look at him. My man's about to kick step and shit. Apollo. Out the kitchen, boy. Need a bit of video. He he over he over all these niggas, but they, they got my man's over here kick stepping, calling audibles and shit for the linemen, and he wilding. He just plays behind that guard. What's hard about that? Watch him coming off the edge here against Trent Brown. It's the left arm that he's holding. What's hard about that? Watch him coming off the edge here against Trent Brown. It's the left arm that he's holding. And that's... He's scared, bro. He like fucking 6'3", 290, fucking 280. Big nigga. All muscle. Look at him. He like he about to body slam this nigga. 
Who was that, Tom Brady? Might be. It's the arm that he uses to wrap him up and ultimately bring him down. Well, again, Sweat's been doing this all night to Jones, the rookie. But what's different is they didn't. They took any this all night to Jones, the rookie. But what's different? That's tough. Is they didn't. They took anywhere for him to go. It's one thing he rookie. But what's different is they didn't. They took anywhere for him to go. It's one thing he's been avoiding that initial to get upfield and rush the, the quarterback. I love how he defends the run. He recognizes that jet sweep because it got on him in a hurry. So he just holds the edge, gets his upfield shoulder up. He's able to get that shoulder. So he just holds the edge, gets his upfield shoulder up that jet sweep because it got on him in a hurry. So he just holds the edge. Bro, wait, 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 wait. My man, my man's trip, bro. Why are you flexing on him like that, bro? Why you look, look, look at this? You can clearly see he tripped over this big ass nigga right here. Come on, bro. I, 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 I fuck with the effort. I fuck with the effort, the hype. The excitement, but he tripped. It gets his upfield shoulder up. He's able to. Oh, you tripped. How the fuck? Wait, because it got on him in a hurry. So he just holds the edge. Gets his up. He didn't even trip on nothing. He just tripped and fell. He recognizes that jet sweep because it got on him in a hurry. So he just holds the edge. I ain't gonna lie. This is a better running, but a better any skill player he would have probably hit that hole. I mean, Go on, like like Dalvin Cook. Or, 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 uh, what's his name? Derrick Henry. Anybody would have hit that hole and been out, bro. Deshaun Jackson would have fucking took off. I don't even think he would have tripped back there. Edge gets his upfield shoulder up. He's able to get that shoulder. So he just holds the edge. Gets it. He recognizes that. Get upfield and rush the. the Are you running? Never full out sprint because you going to miss a big ass hole. Quarterback? I don't. You gonna miss this fucking hole. You see where he at? Do you see where he's at? He's supposed to jog. I love how he defends the run. He's supposed to try. Look at this. This hole is fucking open. This hole is open the whole time, gang. Alright. He recognizes that jet sweep because it got on him in a hurry. So he just holds the edge, gets his upfield shoulder up. He's able to get that shoulder. So Darius at the bottom. You're going to see Greg Little. He's going to get jammed up by his own. At the bottom. You're going to see Greg Little. He's going to get jammed up. That's tough. He didn't put the effort in. He said, fuck it. If he get hit, he get hit by his own tight end, Hunter Long, and that's why he was too slow to get out there. They walk up Alex Singleton here, which holds Pipkins just enough, and then you got Browning, who's coming by right by him, so he... he Jeez, bro, another offensive lineman, offensive tackle not giving no effort on the block, bro. At least, at least shove him a little bit. Just a little bit, bro. You ain't gotta do all that. You feel me? And this nigga, he got him in a fucking box. I ain't gonna cat. He like he's scared to try and do anything. He's thinking that maybe Singleton might be coming. He has to protect the inside, and just that hesitation gives Browning with that speed. Watch the big fella right here. Just that has he, he's thinking that maybe just enough, and then you got Browning who's this stuff is crazy. coming by right. Got him. That's what made him do all that. But still, bro. They don't chase. This is why you don't chase when you play an offensive line or offensive tackle, bro. You never chase. You're supposed to kick step, 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 kick step. By him, so he, he's thinking that maybe Singleton might be coming. He has to protect the inside, and just that hesitation gives Browning with that. Even, even, or even if you do get beat, bro, play defense like he playing basketball, bro. Like, like you feel me? You gotta shuffle. If you get beat, shuffle, shuffle hard, bro. Like, I mean, oh, like I was shimmying. You gotta shuffle back and forth. You feel me? Back and forth, back and forth. That's what I used to do at least. Speed. Watch the big fella right here. Ooh. Gets the offensive lineup. Normally he's used to playing a lot more than that. 
But this is one of those games where I couldn't help <laughs> yeah. but think that he's got it. But this is one of those games. <laughs> he threw him. <laughs> he threw him. Yo. Bro. Coming from an offensive lineman. Me personally. I don't care what level I'm at. <sighs> I could not get thrown off of my block like this, bro. Look at him, bro. Look at this nigga. He about to fucking fly, bro. He like he doing a Superman, bro. This is sad. These niggas professionals, though, so they... They gonna be like... Oh. If this video go viral, everybody gonna be on dick talking about something. Oh um, man, they they professional. Man, they professional. Shit happens. I get that, bro. But if you're a professional, bro, you gotta have better technique, bro. Like you you have to have better technique, bro. You're getting paid to protect this nigga right here. This nigga, this nigga, and this nigga, and then this nigga. You getting paid to protect these niggas, bro. If you're not doing your job, bro. What 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 are you getting paid for to fucking sit there and look cute? Mm -hmm. Most of the time, niggas only be looking cute. Just be sitting there looking fucking big and oofish. Back to him though. Back to bro over here. This nigga like he about to swan dive into a pool or some shit. He about to do fucking belly flops and shit. I couldn't help <laughs> yeah. but think that he's going to be on the field. You've got a guy that can make it, and here's somebody we really haven't talked about tonight, but Hassan Reddick has made such a difference with his team. And it Mark Andrews and took down away from Lamar. Such a difference with his team, and somebody we really haven't talked about. He got his hands on the outside. Yeah, he got his hands on the inside, bro. Take that step and be him out. Because if he... If he end up getting past you, you still try to block him around, so block in the back. You got to get your hands on the inside, like right in his chest. You literally have to put your hands in his chest, bro. Like you feel like a chick or something. About tonight, but Hassan Reddick has made such a difference with his team. And Mark Andrews and took down away from Lamar Jackson. His safety blanket had no one. Mark Andrews and took down away from Lamar. He's actually blocking. You see, he fighting. They keep shooting their hands at each other. Lamar Jackson. He was just able to beat him with the what, what was that a rip? His safety blanket had no one there. There's Thibodeau, the rookie out of Oregon, who is a bright lights guy, big time player. Patrick Jones stepping up. He's gonna come do a guy, big time. Player. There's Thibodeau, the rookie out of Oregon, who is a bright lights guy, big. This this nigga right here, bro. Look at this. There, there's Thibodeau, the rookie out of Oregon. And he ain't got the ball, gang. Okay. Look at that. He ain't got the ball, bro. Lamar Jackson only had a ball, bro. Why are you trying to tackle him still? You wear black forces, don't you? You don't even wear the low top, don't you? wear the high top black forces with the strap. And you tie them all the way up and strap the strap the top. For extra ankle support. That shit crazy. Who is a bright lights guy, big time player. Patrick Jones stepping up. He's going to come, do a spin move, and then get back inside. This is just a four man rush. Nothing special. Daniel Hunter, and then get back inside. This is just a four man rush. Nothing special. Yeah, spin move. They ran into each other a little bit. That's a good spin move. And we're going to loss. Special. Daniel Hunter gets over there, tries to pick off that offensive lineman. Good shit. That's good shit. That is good shit. That is good shit. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, he teabagging him. That's good shit, though. So you get that matchup right there. That's the winner right there. A guy who was on the boundary. So you get that matchup right there. That's the winner. There, a guy who was on the boundary watching the game had to come in for one snap. He gave up a sack. In there on the sack. Really good job here by the commanders of keeping him in the pocket. That was the emphasis on our Zooms. Everybody we talked to, they knew that if they could get him off his primary, you can spy him with the middle linebacker, 55 Holcomb. You get, instead of getting upfield, you see Dolph. I think I missed.
or something now. Like and with the middle linebacker, 55 to talk to, they knew that if they could get him off his primary, you can sp- on our Zooms, everybody we commanders gave up a sack in there on the sack. Really good job here by the commander. It was this dude, wasn't it? it was do this, run across. Commanders of keeping him in the pocket. That was the emphasis. Okay. He must have said in that hole. Look at this. I ain't gonna lie, this is a great pass rushing, bro. They literally destroyed the pocket and made it a fucking a wallet. Tight and compact. That's tough. This is not, this this is good. I ain't gonna lie. This is this is good pass rushing. This is a good pass rushing. He ain't got nowhere to run. On our Zooms, everybody we talked to, they knew that if they could get him off his primary, you can spy him with the middle linebacker, 55 Holcomb. You get, instead of getting upfield, you see Dulcich here. He comes and sits down, and with the pressure. Oops. That's on me. Russell Wilson, this is right in front of him. Just put it on him. I mean, that can't get more open than that. This is right in front of him. Just put it on him. I mean, that can't get more open than that. That's good shit, bro. He just fight for that. He tried. He tried. He like he trying to get some stats. And that's just some of the things. I'm not sure at times how disciplined Russell Wilson has been with his eyes on no one exactly. You bring everybody off the edge, which means Driscoll's going to have no help. But that time the pressure came from the off the edge, which means Driscoll's going to have no help. But that time. The- no, this is crazy, bro. What the fuck? Everybody over here is doing their job. Everybody over here is doing their job. Except, and then, then there's you. Then there's you, 68. What the fuck? What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? What, you about to do a fucking dance lesson? You big ass man. Everybody off the edge, which means Driscoll's going to have no help. This. You barely touched him, bro. Focus here. He's blocking him. This was, he's either blocking him or guarding him, bro. But that time, the pressure came from the other side. Exactly what you did. Help. But that you time, the pressure... Like, you're supposed to be fucking here, gay. You let this nigga slip right by you for an easy sack. Now the running back got to turn around and try to bump this nigga. Probably won't. Pressure came from the other side. Exactly what you did not want him to do. Stood in the pocket too long, and then you clean what you did not want. All I, all I heard just now was the Undertaker theme song. Dum. The loud ass bell, bro. No, oh, that's crazy. Him to do. Stood in the pocket too long, and then he tried to escape backwards as opposed to him to do. Came from the other side. And then he tried to escape backwards as opposed to what him to do. Stood in the pocket too long, and exactly what you did not want. Uh, he, he, wow, he really wore black Air Forces. Look at him. And his cleats black? His cleats black? What are those, the Menace Jones? The Alpha Menace Twos? Yeah, he got it. He got it. If, it, if he were an alpha man, it's twos, bro. He's a fucking menace to society and to the football field. Right, Apollo? Exactly. Want him to do, stood in the pocket too long, and then he tried to escape backwards as opposed to escaping either to the right or to the left. Look at all the people they have up at the line of scrimmage, and you can't see it here, but it's straight man-to-man coverage on the outside. So now you're going to see Sirianni Straight man-to-man coverage on. Oh, no, he couldn't. He was sitting there. Okay, that was a good read. They closed that shit up then. He had a little. He had a little, little, a little bit of space. Just a little bit of space to just, just, just a little, just a little sudden and get him like two yards, probably one yard, maybe an inch of a yard, half a yard type shit. On the outside, so now fast. Oh my gosh, did you see that? That's wicked. He look like he better fucking take his neck off. You're going to see Sirianni and this Eagles offensive staff begin to try and take advantage because they have the receivers to win one-on-one. Yeah, and I think the thing that's always fun to watch with the Dallas Cowboys 
is that they're so fresh. They rotate fresh box. But, you know, you're right. You talked about how... I ain't gonna lie. This linebacker stance is crazy. He like you about to get the handoff. Okay. Arlo being new in there. Good cross. I ain't gonna lie, that's a good cross. Arlo being new. This is a good cross. He like he waited for him to come over. New in there. And Ford is going to be able to get by him. You're going to see Parkinson come across, and he is just going to completely whiff on this block right here. See Parkinson in there. We talked about Harlow being new. In we would wait for the inside person to shoot, or whoever was going first, they would go. We wouldn't even leave off the line of scrimmage. Like, they'd take off, and then we'd take off without getting touched. And that would literally leave... One of those niggas that did the cross open for a sack. To be honest with you. And it worked. I remember one time we did it. It was the first time we ever did this. Me and my man's free him. But we did it though, right? We did it. And I think I got back there. And I didn't get touched. And I was surprised because I didn't get touched. And I'm like, bro, what the hell? And literally, as I was like running back there bro the QB took off on me I, I, he took the fuck off on me I wasn't gonna catch him bro I was too slow I was too slow in high school but that shit that's a good cross though in there and Ford is gonna be able to get by him you're gonna see Parkinson come across and he is just gonna completely whiff on this block right here and that's gonna be the blow up shot and that's a running back block right here and that's he tried, to, he tried to take him out, bro. He missed. That's bad, John. He looked like he was bracing for impact, too. He wanted that. He wanted all the smoke. I ain't gonna lie. He wasn't dug in or not. Gonna be the blow up shot. And that's a running back. Blue Anarumo, the defense. Leave it. coordinator he's going to bring Hilton off the slot and then that's what you can see the speed off of the edge from Sanders and you just activated this week and you can see why right there that message that he did really really late in that cadence was across the board Crosby did it last week go up spin right oh, that spin move is crazy Crosby did it last week go was that Von Miller? I like it. Go up! Yeah. Von Miller, I was doing a spin move, bro. I applaud him for that, because that, that's a signature move now to me. I ain't going to cap. This shit nice. Dang. He, bro. That's insane, bro. Like, you could, you can get open. Like, you, you can get to the sack without being blocked. Bro, I'm going to be honest, bro. I'm talking to other football players that play D line. If you play D line, this one is specifically for you, though, bro. Nigga, y'all can literally do anything and get a sack. You can do a euro step, get a sack. You can pump fake. They'll probably jump, fuck around, jump. I know y'all seen that video. That video went viral. They was doing one on ones. The nigga did it. Yo. Stop. Stop going over there. You shake your head now? Leave it. So the nigga did a pump fake. The offensive lineman jumped, bro. He jumped. And he had a sack, bro. That shit is crazy. I've never seen no one do a basketball move playing football in my lifetime until that. Spin right under. And you have no Jack Lawson disrupts things. Well, it's the same thing last week. Wiley is it the same play? Yeah, it's the same Acceptable play. to the bull rush. He's all to just the outside of the left guard. And watch how quick he uses those hands, gets penetration. All to just the outside of the left guard. And watch how quick he uses those hands, gets penetration.
Watch how quick uses those hands, gets penetration right into the middle there as Fields tries. See Daryl Terrell, Daryl Taylor lined up on the outside here, working against right tackle Calvin Beecham, and just beats him to the outside. Gets that ball out. Oh, just a great job with D-line stunt. You call this a TE stunt, tackle and stunt, where one goes up and then the other comes around the corner. Hi, drop shippers. It's time to focus on what you do best. So go to wix.com slash drop shipping. You see him right in the middle here. He gets beat, pushed back so far by Monet. Raekwon Davis. Beat pushed back so far by Monet. Raekwon Davis is going to absolutely abuse Ed Ingram, the rookie out of LSU. My goodness. And kill this play. Just some little subtle movements up front. And you can see Tanner Vallejo from his linebacker spot able to get up in there. And then look at Christian Wilkins. Shoots the gap, gets in the backfield. Nice tackle for loss. Look at the big fella in the middle. Swims the center quickly and gets back there to help his buddy Anderson, 94, make the tackle. But Terry Brown, that's a big man, and he moves so quick. Just compressing the pocket and making sure that a quarterback has nowhere to escape. And it's so important with a guy like Geno Smith. Have to come up with some stuff but he also has the brute strength of Dexter Lawrence. Look at him, stay with it and fight through Kevin Zeitler. So that's good cover. Look to his right, wasn't there. Moved his view to the middle of the field, nothing there either. And down. Look at this, Ellis, he's pushing up. All they're trying to do is just set a game. And then number 55, he just keeps coming. Just splits it, keeps coming, and then Davenport. I'm recording a video. That's cool. Get off of me. Is able to come back inside. Where's your matchup, right? So we're going to take Jalen Warren. We've heard a lot of good things about him, but we haven't heard him as a lead blocker on a big outside linebacker. That's one of the things we haven't heard about him. Great effort, great, great willingness, but just not that technique. Yeah, 260-pound Joe Tryon Shoyanka, who had a sack last week against Atlanta. Sometimes you're looking for playmakers, and sometimes they have on single-digit numbers or low numbers, but not this time. And you've got to win those situations. If you're going to win games in short yardage, we just talked about the red zone performance by Tampa Bay today, but that's a great job by that Steeler defense. And gets into the backfield immediately. That's a tough ask for Robert Hainsey right there, and if you're going to do that... Yo, if y'all ever get top block, bro... I can do one out of two things. I can do what he did, jump over it, or I can push him. As soon as you see him come down, push him down, go around it, or jump over it. That's easy. You can see the backside pile fell on his feet. He couldn't keep his feet. They bring the pressure. They overload the right side. But if, if Mac doesn't get this, if they're able to get it, it was a good call by the Broncos. Really nice job, just a four-man rush, and look how fast Roach, who missed the first. Really nice job, just a four-man. Oh, he shot off that real quick. Get this, if they're able to get it, it was a good call by the Broncos. Really nice job, just. There you go. Oh, he was reading that. I saw that. Y'all saw that. Just a four-man rush, and look how fast Roach, who missed the first four games of the season. Really good to see him back in the lineup. Kevin, that's the flag. You said batted it out of bounds, and that's the penalty that comes in late. Yes. Percent got to know, has to know that the, the pocket is going to be collapsing around him. Can't take that long. Got to get the ball out of his hands. Mike Tomlin talked about Chahuma Okorafor is one of the guys that he thought could stand out on that eye. <laughs> what? Mike Tomlin talked about Chapuma Okorafor is one of the guys. Chapuma Okorafor. I'm going to forget that within the next 15 minutes. Guys that he thought could stand out on that island by himself. And you would get the help onto the other side to Dan Moore. And that island by himself. And you would get the help. 
for is one of the guys that he thought could stand out on that island by himself. And you would get the help onto the other side to Dan Moore. And on that island by himself. And you would get the help onto the other side to Dan Moore. And that's just a really nice job on that pass rush by Carl Nassar. If you're the Saints, it's, it's the red zone. Now, if you're the Bengals defense, they've done a tremendous job out the back side. Take a look here. Yeah, it just kind of fell out the back when he took it. Didn't look like anybody hit it. That thumb just wants to get to one. Yo, back at high school, bro, I used to watch these videos to see how I could get better and what I could do and start working a more. I'm not gonna lie. Here's... Take that long guy, get the ball out of his hands. Mike Tomlin talked about Chihuma Okorafor is one of the guys that he thought could stand out on that island. <laughs> what? Mike Tomlin talked about Chihuma Okorafor is one of the guys. Chihuma Okorafor. I'm going to forget that within the next 15 minutes guys that he thought could stand out on that island by himself and you would get the help onto the other side to Dan Moore and that island by himself and you would get the help for is one of the guys that he thought could stand out on that island by himself and you would get the help onto the other side to Dan Moore and on that island by himself and you would get the help onto the other side to Dan Moore and that's just a really nice job on that pass rush by Carl Nassar. If you're the Saints it's it's the red zone now if you're the Bengals defense, they've done a tremendous job out the back side. Take a look here. Yeah, it just kind of fell out the back when he took it. Didn't look like anybody hit it. That thumb just wants to get to one. Yo, know, back at high school, bro, I used to watch these videos to see how I could get better and what I could do and start working a more. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Whew. My bad, y'all. It's early in the morning. It's 9.32. So, if you if you watch these, bro, and start practicing what they be doing, bro, you're gonna become a better player, bro. I guarantee you, you're gonna become a better player. Cause all this shit they do, you know, they in the pros, bro. So whatever they do, it gotta work at the lower level. That shit is so tough, bro. 100 but again they tried to create the illusion that the play was going to the left and they wanted to come back right again they tried to create the illusion that the play was going to the left and they wanted to come back right and I think he wanted to say Quan play was going to the left pushes that right into attack Why are you push my man into the shackle, bro? Hmm. Oh, what, you, what was you thinking, man? And they wanted to come back right. And I think he wanted to say Quan Barkley in the middle of the field on a second read, but not able to get to it because all of a sudden his vision is filled up by number 93 in white. He starts on the back side here. He's going to loop all the way across. You see there's a big hole. C.J. Mosley's going to bail out. Now watch the twist game. Royce Newman, the right guard, has got to stay big. Now watch the twist game. Oh, he came right across your face. Y'all trying to triple Y'all the triple team. Y'all trying to triple team one nigga, bro. He came right across your face. Get out of get, get over there, bro. Get over here. You're supposed to be over here. Royce Newman, the right guard, has got to stay big in that hole. There's no reason for him to slide left. But credits this deep. I'm about to have an anxiety attack. Just watching this. Fucking incurable depression. Defense, nice design. You have to account for him in your pass protection. No one does. Nice design. You have to account for him in your. Oh, 
get the benefit of that. This linebacker came up. I'll give it. I, I'll give that to him. I will give that to him. Your pass protection, no one does. Look. I thought he was gonna blitz. I, I will give that to him. This happened to me before. It's like Dalvin Cook actually was supposed to account for the end man and the middle linebacker. Instead, he went to the end man, and Landon Roberts makes good. The problem was the backside. Excuse me, Jahad Ward. Watch him coming on the pursuit and make. Backside. Excuse me, Jahad Ward. Watch him coming on the pursuit. Read. That's a good read. They saw him pull. He came right off on his butt, bro. Pause. That's a pause, my fault. My bad, yo. I'm sorry. Pursuit and making the play. Everything to the front side blocked really, really well. And now off the edge, but watch the hands. Watch the swipe. This is like right out of Karate Kid. Nice swipe on the outside. Swim over the top. Meet the quarterback at the depth of his drop. Just a really nice job here on this stunt. You're going to see they do a little TE stunt. Down. Sheldon Rankins wraps around the outside. Nice. Down. Share on this stunt. You're going to see they do a little TE stunt. Down. Sheldon Rankins wraps around the outside. It's a nice two man game there between Lawson and Rankins. Bakhtiari, the left tackle, running in the left guard, can't quite pass that two man game off. The ball's got to come out. This guy's tight end there matched up against him. Enek Bari just keeps coming. He's got a lot of time. Just get rid of the ball. Check it down. It's first down. You don't want to have to blitz to create your pressure, and they haven't had to so far today. There's your four down line. We talked that they had to win today. Look at all four of them pushing, pushing, not getting up, forcing Tom to step up, and that that pocket collapses on him. We talked about Tom Brady. I like to see this from the Steelers. To be honest, I'm a big Steelers fan. I like to see it. I love to see it. You got to love it. I love it, especially that's. I love it. I love it. I get a throw from watching Pittsburgh. I love it. Brady, how little. Bro. We don't even know where he gets. Little, he gets pressure just 17% of his snaps. He's faced pressure this year. Yeah, Dorrance Armstrong has really become a force out there on the outside. And remember that. Jordan Mailata is coming in with a bad shoulder. With a but you can see the pressure up the middle. They start with the two backers, and they bail Walker and Campbell. It's just a four-man front. Jaron Reed, number 90, he gets the initial pressure, and then he kind of just runs. He doesn't even see Rashawn Gary as he kind of flushes the pocket. And now it's right as well. Watch as he comes around the edge. Zappi's eyes are to the left, so he's not even aware that Garrett is that close to the back quickly. This time it's not the rush as much as holding the point of attack and setting the edge against the attempted block there by number 89. He's got to work with the right tackle Jenkins in a little bit of a zone scheme there and protect. Early penetration right there, Coward, number 96. He's the first guy to disrupt the runner, and once that happens... Because they anticipated what the Giants wanted to do, which was protect and try and hit some... Yo, I got a question for y'all real quick before this video went. Y'all, y'all, y'all AirPods, like... He scratching the inside of y'all ear, bro. Because my AirPods been doing that to me for a little minute now, and I'm actually getting kind of concerned. Should I stop wearing AirPods? Should I get some RKD Air, uh, earphones? Should I should I get the AirPod Pros? The AirPod Pros, I don't think they. I think they do the same thing. My sister got a pair. She said they'd be doing the same thing to her. I don't. I don't know. I don't like it, bro. It hurts. It hurts when I use my AirPods, to be honest with you. It doesn't tickle. It's not as fun as I thought it was anymore. It fucking sucks. Something deep right off the top. Let me know in the comments. And Travis Jones just ran right through the attempted block of John Feliciano. Really grasped onto what everything is doing. Look at what the Giants are doing here, trying to confer confuse blocking schemes. Had a triple stack in the middle. So when you're trying to decide who you're going to block, had a triple right. stack in the middle. Look at what the Giants are doing. Lamar Jackson officially lost his juice. And here, trying to confer, confuse blocking schemes. Had a call him at first. Call him at first. Triple stack in the middle. So when you're trying to decide who you're going to block, 
which way is that guy going to go? He's got to be able to make this block. They have Mixon at the line of scrimmage, and he just whiffs on Davis. Mixon at the line of scrimmage, and he just whiffs on Davis. And when you look at their pass protection, they came into this game 50 right there diagnosing the play right away you're trying to cut him and get his hands down so you can throw a screen right oh, there diagnosing the play right saw that just push him down right away you're trying to cut him and get his hands down so you can throw that's the other way to get him on a chop block that's where they teach you at least a screen right around him both these quarterbacks having passes knocked down at the line of script beneficiary some really really good defensive line play you're going to see that He's going to try and pick Robert Hunt, that defensive line play. You're going to see that. He's going to. Skinny. He got skinny. That's tough. They both. Oh, he came. All three of these niggas came free. To try and pick Robert Hunt, that right guard, as soon as he picks him. Frees up the blitz here. Miscommunication. You can see the center there who's trying to adjust and make sure he's making the right call. Tyler. You can see the center. Center there. Uh, why are y'all both on the ground? You're having a sleepover. Left him scot free, man. Yeesh. Me personally. He's trying to adjust and make sure he's making the right call. Tyler Larson. And it frees up one of the better oh, linebackers. And <laughs> Grab Carson with his neck like that. <laughs> Make sure he's making the right call, <laughs> Tyler Larson. You like it, try to break his neck, gay. Eh? Nah, that's disrespectful, like at its highest. It frees up one of the better. See, I'm not gonna lie. This is also another reason why I didn't, well, why I don't want to play pro anymore. I used to, but then I start, I started seeing how they be tackling each other. Um, you also saw the video from inside the video. It's a, it's a picture. I forgot what his name is, bro. But it was the quarterback from the from the Colts, like in 2010, I think, 2010, 2011. He was getting tackled, bro. The dude jumped on his back, and his body was like this. His body was like this, bro. The nigga was on his back with his knees in his back, grabbing his. Head. He was like this, sitting like a T Rex, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's another reason why I decided not to, you know, try to push my efforts to go pro. Because I got smaller over the years, bro. I used to be bigger. And I got smaller. And I refuse. I refuse, bro. I legit refuse to even get tackled like that. I mean, granted, I probably won't. Cause a nigga like me, you feel me? I'm gonna just shake everybody, with, whoop, whoop, hit everybody with the moves. You feel me? Put the moves on. But that shit crazy, bro. Their linebackers in this league, especially blitzing, Roquan Smith. Chill, Carson. Ninety-five percent of Uber Eats order. Okay, we're not about to watch this ad. Let's see. All right, uh, well. That concludes this video. Hope y'all enjoy. Uh, hope y'all enjoy. I'm gonna keep dropping videos like this. I'm sorry about last week. I wasn't able to get out a video. I had videos, but I didn't. Gen 5, you dissing on the guys and you ain't safe And if I see you in them niggas' pictures, you a ace I'm trying to get some gas, shit, they last, homie, we shake Shit, I was 17, fucking the 40, it was rape Shit, once it's up